Oh, oh, what the freak's up? Oh. Kyle? What the freak's up? We're Nagito. Save the game. I save the game. did save the game. So this is the Octagon, huh? In case you forgot, we're in the Octagon from the final Dead Room, which was the last episode. Nagito went, ha ha, gun? Mm. What gun? Nagito mm. has a gun. Mm. What a distorted room. What do you have? A gun. No! It's no! <laughs> Congratulations, Nagito! Oh, uh, oh, he's here! Yeah. Congratulations on clearing the final dead room! And, and you even challenged yourself with the highest difficulty with only a one-sixth chance of success! Here! I have a modest present for someone like you! Zip! Now then, <laughs> this first! Is this the Future Foundations file? Didn't we already get this when we were at the roller coaster? Uh -huh. Well, just think of it as an extension of that. Extension? Oh! Didn't we talk about how the ear glass is cracked? Uh, there's like scratches on it. I apologize. Yeah. No, it's Sorry, okay. I got totally distracted. Um, <laughs> didn't we talk about how Monokuma had initially said there was more information on like our student files? So he said that our student files were on this okay. island too. No one has those. He didn't... We didn't find him anywhere else. We didn't find him we anywhere else. We established it had to be here. Yeah. And... Did we talk about like, oh, maybe he's lying or something, or I, did I make I mean, that? That's up? always on the table. Okay. Also. <laughs> <laughs> Is it though? Hey, hey. You, what are you giving without permission? Hmm. Let's see, and one more special prize. That one's probably important. I mean, duh. Well, I mean, Monami <laughs> works for the Future Foundation. Yeah, we've we all that. but confirmed that at this point. But Monokuma does too. This crest, is this Hope's Peak Academies? <laughs> That's right, this file contains your student profiles from your time at Hope's Peak Academy. Meaning they're profiles that you guys don't even remember. Our time at Hope's Peak Academy, huh? But after all this time, I still can't believe what, it. What? You mean that matter concerning your stolen school memories? I mean, a no good person like me actually spent time with everyone else at Hope's Peak Academy? Just tell me what Hajime is. <laughs> No, that's impossible! If that's true, how did I feel? Surely I would have spent my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. Jeez, mm. whether you're upbeat or depressed, I still don't understand you at all. Also, it's Lawn Day. We're recording this on Lawn Day. If you hear some noises, I'll try to turn the game up and the noises down. I don't think they can hear it yet. That's they a can, street sweeper, can, so that one will be quick. Yet. That one will be relatively quick, but... <laughs> it's just like the last game. Yep. Oh well, anyway, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is up to you. Thanks. I'll take a long look at it later. Of course. It's so later. if I look at these profiles, I'll be able to find out what Hajime's hidden talent is too. He'll probably be happy about it. Yay! Someone like me was finally useful! <laughs> hmm, what are you laughing about? Well, I just thought it was ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you was the one who obtained Hope's Peak Academy student profiles. I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. What does that mean? <laughs> but looks like things are gonna get interesting. <laughs> yes, Nagito, you might be the one who makes things much more interesting. No, I'm turning into Biakio! Oh, no! <laughs> I don't really know what you're talking about. Hey, hey! What are you planning? What's written in there? Lie. Anyway, Monami. Hey! No hey. cheating, you haven't reached the end yet. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. I mean, you haven't played Russian roulette yet. Um, but Nagito already did it! What are you no, saying? No, 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 <laughs> no! No, 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 no! Get over here! Revenge of the final dead room! No! <laughs> it hurts when you shoot me in the head! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, they're gone. In the end, I still don't understand what Monokuma was talking about. Yeah. For now, I'll leave this file for later. Why? First, I need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. Mm. It's not very clear. I believe that door is the one we just came from. That's what I was assuming. Yeah, oh, I oh. put that together. What? I didn't know there was a hallway. Yeah, what's up? And a thing. <laughs> All right. Well, last time I saw one of these, it infuriated me <laughs> to no end. Because uh, that's probably not important. <laughs> You go underneath it like. <laughs> <laughs> There's a door on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. dinosaur. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I couldn't think of the first part of the line. <laughs> Isn't this the first floor of Strawberry House? Could this door lead underground? Based on the sketch, there shouldn't have been a bunker. No, maybe what lies beyond this door. <laughs> Things are finally getting interesting. Monokuma just told us that. 
It's like, I know, dude. It's kind of interesting. Especially since you didn't open the file. <laughs> a refrigerator here. In this economy? I wasn't expecting to find drinks in it, but when I opened the door and peeked inside, I see there are poisons stored in here. Thanks for animating it. You could secretly kill everyone with poison. In a way, it can be considered the most powerful weapon. But in that case, you'd have to ignore the rules. How is Monokuma gonna change the price depending on Russian Roulette? Regardless, it's slightly different than an ultimate weapon. Something called ultimate should make my heart dance with joy. <sighs> Nagito would love Smash. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the ultimate fighting crossover, Hajime! Axes, swords, hammers, metal wires. There's a lot of items here that could be used as weapons. Those do look like a lot of fun. The scimitars. To just play with, like, I would have so much fun just carrying those around. But I don't see anything that looks like it could be the ultimate weapon. I wonder where that so-called ultimate weapon is. Alright, let's take a look here. I see, so there are a lot of firearms here too. There are handguns and grenade launchers even. <laughs> is it a flamethrower? I don't know. But I don't see anything that looks like it could be the ultimate weapon. Yeah, yeah. I wonder where that so-called ultimate weapon right. is. Window? Whoa, window! <laughs> a window? Why is there only one window in a place like this? It looks like there's some kind of hidden meaning to it, but in actuality, what could it mean? In my mind, I entertained various possibilities as I walked slowly toward the window. And then the moment I peeked out that window... Huh? This is... What I actually saw outside that window... Hajime! <laughs> it was completely different from any possibility I had in mind. Yeah? <laughs> it's very, uh... Yuri, like Doki Doki's <laughs> Yuri vibes. <laughs> he just gets the gun again. <laughs> he just pulls a pulls a scimitar out. I see. So that's what it was. What I saw outside this window. If I start piecing it together and think about it, yeah, I see. It seems I'm finally starting to get a larger perspective of the funhouse with this. Cool. Amazing. As expected of a place that cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead. Why do I even get my hopes up? <laughs> With this guy. Thanks to how I arrived here, all the separate pieces seem to have connected together in one fell swoop. A chain reaction culminating in the truth, all thanks to just one clue. Haha, <laughs> I know now's not the time to enjoy things, but this is definitely a good feeling. Especially that window. Mm -hmm. That's right, everything became connected from there. I have a better review of the, better view of the fun house. I like to think it's just a map. <laughs> it's just like a more detailed map of the fun house. You look out the window and it's just a banner in the sky of the map. <laughs> Thanks to that window, I realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon in the fun house. Mm -hmm. Now all I have to do is tell everyone else about this. The ultimate weapon is the friends we made along the way. But before <laughs> I do that, I should finally take a look at the file I received from Monokuma. Okay, you guys shut up. We're looking at the file now. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. it is. Especially if it's everyone's student profiles from their time at Hope's Peak Academy. That's important. I cautiously open the file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Carefully. <sighs> huh? Oh, is he gonna show me? Or are we just gonna cut back to Hajime or something? We're cutting back to Hajime. Well, he's not the protagonist, Daniel. What do you mean? He can't tell you all his secrets. No, but like some of them would be nice. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Hajime. She said it. Oh, oh, right. Sorry. Huh? Oh, my voice. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you say something? Well? It's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyuhiko. I wonder if the elevator's been fixed yet. We've just, you know, been sitting here doing nothing for two hours during a crime scene investigation. <laughs> It'd be bad if we were still split up before the class trial, so maybe we should call them one more time. Mm. Hey, are you even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. Sorry. So what are you going to do? Oh! That's not from the game. That's just because I didn't sleep much. That's fair. You're right. I'm worried about them, too. Let's try calling Strawberry House one more time. I think. Yeah, that's a great idea. I think. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> huh? Hold on, I have to call Strawberry House. I have to call Strawberry House. Give me a sec. Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime. Nagito, why are you here? <laughs> because I showed up. You showed up? How did you even come here? <laughs> Maybe I teleported. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nagito, sudden appearance. Oh. Oh. Hmm. 
He vented! <laughs> he did an Among Us with the floor hatch. Hmm. Alright, that checks out. <laughs> Damn. What? You have to talk to him, not the... I just did! <laughs> yeah, you have to talk to him again. Well, I don't know. I thought they learned their lesson no, after Kyoko. Fair. <laughs> fair. Dog. Hey, answer me seriously. How are you able to come to this side? Hey, before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. There is? I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. Now then. I'll give you those details first. Let's hurry this up. After being abruptly inter interrupted by Nagito, Chiaki and I learned about the results of his investigation in Strawberry House. Triple A! Elevator! Triple A! Yep. Door button! Yep. Triple A! Yep. The boy! Triple A! Yep. Is it alarm clock? Well, I guess those were pretty important. Especially the fact that everyone in Strawberry House heard that rumbling noise too. I love that now is the time. He's like, well, I guess Nagito is telling me the truth. Yeah. Only <laughs> him entirely. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> But what was that about the wall of clock's alarm going off before that happened? Also, the fact that Strawberry Hole's button was broken is definitely worth noting. Truth bullet. <laughs> also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. <laughs> I've cleared the final dead room! Huh? You're what? <laughs> I got speaking of that SpongeBob class. <laughs> <laughs> you what? What did you do to my drink? <laughs> You did the life-threatening game? Wow. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? Mm. It's a game where you love one bullet and a gun, spin the cylinder, point towards you, and pull the trigger. I love- I, I've just been thinking, since I haven't talked to his yeah. Kajime for a while, I still have no clue what he sounds like. Like, if you ask me to picture his voice, yeah, I have fair. no idea. <laughs> to be fair, again, I just did my voice for Kajime yeah, the just... whole time. <laughs> so you really did it. Man. Remember, he sounds like ambiance. Ambiance. <laughs> uh, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if I only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monami said. Huh? Actually... I misunderstood and thought I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that's how I did it. D that... you only had a one in six chance of surviving. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. And all the stuff you just learned and were like, I'm useful! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with him? I knew he was strange from the start, but for him to casually do something so suicidal... It, it's it crazy. checks out. That's all there is to it. I... Anyway, because I was able to fi clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. And one of those rights <laughs> was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't even need to play the game again. Move back and forth? <sighs> Where would you even be able to do that now? Man. Hey, Hajime, you stay quiet. You've been repeating yourself over and over, and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? If only somebody said that in the last game. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just stop repeating me? <laughs> huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the roulette at the highest difficulty. And I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. That is that the future foundation file? Yep. Yeah, it's a continuation of the file we received at the roller coaster. Continuation. There's even more detailed information about the killing school life that was in the earlier file. Oh, the, the killing school life. Why do you uh, keep repeating me? I just said. I don't really. <laughs> you mean the killings that took place at Osweek Academy, right? I love the little splody Monokuma. Yeah, it's great. Mon Mondo's just like fuck you. <laughs> Yeet. Uh, as I recall, Byakuya was one of the students who participated in it, except he was a little bit <laughs> less there. <laughs> but even when we learn about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. There was information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. Oh, that would have come in handy during the last game. <laughs> <laughs> I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people that I don't even know. Right? Besides Byakuya, of course. But you didn't read about his death, you just kind of saw it. You, you... He kind of tried to do it. He did this weird thing where he like hung up a body and like tried to make it look like a serial <laughs> yeah, killer. Yeah, you would did freaking it. love that. Don't <laughs> don't pretend like that wasn't your favorite book. And it's just as I thought that Biakia was the Biakia we knew, right? Yes. Or that Biakia. However, I can't say the information was completely useless. In truth, there are similarities between the Killing School life and this Killing School trip. Similarities like two thirds of the words. <laughs> <laughs> For example, the first murder involved someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. Remember that? Hey. If they if they acknowledge <laughs> the similarities, I'll take back a lot of the criticism. <laughs> <laughs> the second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group, which was stupid. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. Hey, I forgot that that was chapter three. Yeah. I forgot that was chapter three. The ultimate Chad, Hifumi Yamada. Yeah. Rip in peace. <laughs> yeah, ultimate... 
What? Who'd be the ultimate virgin? What? Makoto? What are you talking about? Taka. Taka. Oh, oh Taka. my gosh. I totally blanked oh, yeah, his name. The Virgin Chad. <laughs> virgin Taka and Chad <laughs> Fumi. What do you guys think about the similarities? It's definitely strange. Well, I can't think of these as coincidences, especially if Monokuma is behind the motives and driving the murders. But you know what they say. Reusing... <laughs> what did he say during the game? Reusing gimmicks is a sure way to save time and <laughs> energy true. or something. <laughs> to be fair, Whoops. they've somewhat been acknowledging the, the similarities since the beginning. Have they? Do you remember Monokuma's little, like, stand-up bit with Monami where he was like, You lost your memories! Boy, wouldn't it be dumb if we waited to reveal that till the end? Well, yeah, that one, I yeah. thought that was, that was, so everybody doesn't go insane. Mm, what are you Play. trying to say? Hey. By the way, the fourth murder of the Killing School Life was apparently ruled a suicide. Huh? <laughs> Whether that means something or not is something each person should think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. The truth? Are you sure you're not just trying to confuse us? Jeez, Jeez your complaints just never end, do they? If you're gonna talk like that, I won't want to tell you anymore. And I even learned what your talent is, too. Huh? What? <laughs> well, well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That seal. Or, or, or. <laughs> I found him. He's the ultimate weapon, Hajime. <laughs> He's a Navy seal. Yep. Indeed. <laughs> it's the Hope's Peak Academy school crest. Perhaps. Does that have information about our stolen memories? No, it just balances a beach ball on its nose. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just mine? Why? That's so bizarre. Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? Jeez. It's quite troubling that you would ask me that. I must say, it was always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. Right? But that ends now. Are you serious? Did you really find out why I was chosen by Hope's Week Academy? Man. In a way, it's just as Chiaki said. Hajime's existence is special. Ultimate large dong. Ultimate large dong. <laughs> because you were... Just some reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> well... Unlike the primary department for main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for reserve course students who entered the school through a basic entrance exam. That's pretty good. Essentially, you're like a substitute or the second string. Well, even then, it's just in name only. The Reserve Department pretty much only exists to increase Hope's Peak Academy's revenue stream. Reserve Department? Substitute? Second string? I don't have the vocabulary for this! <laughs> revenue stream? What is he saying? <laughs> like I said, to be a Reserve Course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance fee and tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the Academy can focus on bolstering and researching talent. <laughs> Through this, the symbols of hope can be raised. Isn't that right? Which means you're just a stepladder, but you should feel honored. An average, talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. What does that- what? <laughs> Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Hope's Peak Academy? Uh, I kind of am, so <laughs> that's always a risk we're taking. <laughs> or maybe you were just obsessed with Hope's Peak Academy like a fangirl following the latest trend. It's not like that. Stop it. Wanted to become hope? He said I. Oh, I. If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully, the only humans worthy of becoming hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. Does he just hate me now? And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. There's no mistake. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. You don't even know? That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope Speak Academy that you couldn't even see that? Yeah, bro, I gotta, I gotta level with you, Chief. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me the file and let I mean, me I've read been it. getting through this whole game on my own. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like your whole, you aren't worthy to be admired. Like, sure, you've done a lot, but like I've done the rest of the solving. <laughs> <laughs> like, you gotta. You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. I have. I don't know. What? I don't like that. But I also don't feel like that's it. But I don't like it. Then I. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just. Well, Hajime <laughs> clearly doesn't like it either. Well, yeah. That's right. You were never an ultimate. You had no talent whatsoever. I'm kind of surprised Chiaki's just letting this play out. Chiaki's non-confrontational. She feels, yeah, Nagito <laughs> will leave and then she'll be like, Hajime, we all like having you here, so don't cry. 
I don't have any talent. I'm just an ordinary high school student. Man. Aw, oh, I feel sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? I mean, kind of. Are you telling me I'm just, like, average? <laughs> what, what about it? That's I'll just zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> but still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, no! totally unremarkable <laughs> high school student, there's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. Hmm. But if it's not Hajime, then who in the world could the traitor be? The survivor of the previous Killing School life, Byakuya, would have been the most likely candidate. That is true. And in all fairness, <laughs> we would... <laughs> Like, again, yeah. the last game, we did kind of watch someone die, and then they yeah. kind of were a big part of it all. Yeah. That's <laughs> and it's fair. like, oh, Junko's alive. So maybe Byakuya couldn't find someone who looks enough like him, so he just had to get a fat guy who was close <laughs> enough. You Slap know? the glasses on and be like, you're me now. Exactly, and he couldn't play the part fully, which is why he was like, oh, I care about my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Bianca's just sitting there like, Ugh, I cannot believe this. <laughs> but no, that's probably impossible. Hey. Hey, are you listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this. Thank you. What? Huh? Well? Maybe important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mechamaru's mm. murder first. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone is going to die together anyway. I love Mechamaru. That's such it's a so cute good. Name. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> In that case, would the traitor be among those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Yep. Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. All right. Hey, hey. You said you cleared the final dead room and obtained these files. That means you must have gone to the octagon, right? Hey. Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? Yeah. Or, so... or. Did you find out what it was? Or, or, or. <laughs> it's the seal. The beach ball is a grenade, and if it oh ever my falls off its nose. <laughs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Because you want to help us, and we're on the side of hope. Now, now spill the beans. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared that room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtained there as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it a secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Man. Like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since this began. Yeah, yeah. How many times must I repeat myself? Uh, I just want hope to shine even brighter. Mm. What you're saying doesn't make any sense at all. Just tell us already. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. I... You're right. I did go to a place that seemed to be the octagon, and I found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. Don't lie, there's no way that's possible. Stop it. Coming from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. Uh, you're hurting my feelings. <laughs> what did you say? Fine, I understand. Now it's not the time for us to be fighting anyway. If you won't tell us, we gotta do it ourselves. Come on, let's go to the final death. Yeah. <laughs> now, shall we go back to investigating Mechamaru's case? She could, she'd probably. She's a gamer! She could probably justify it. <laughs> Besides, one in six, it's like... You just both of you take turns, and then one of you is gonna get I it, right? I kinda take those odds, yeah. <laughs> like, well, someone not, did. Not that I'm, not that I'm like, oh, it's a win-win, but it's like... My odds of surviving in the school aren't that great anyway, is like... Yeah. Might as well go out on the side of hope. <laughs> we better hurry, the class trial is gonna start soon. Yep. I'm sorry. You're doing it. You my, got it. You're so good. My legs are kind of sore, so I'm trying Dude, to like same. adjust. But my the the drawer with the microphone and the chair. It's yeah, all... and then if you bump the drawer, the whole camera shakes. <laughs> Look at the camera <laughs> shake. Isn't that fun? What was that rumble? <gasps> and the alarm. It's the pillar. You're right. You're right. I haven't even seen the crime scene. Also, the guys in Strawberry House should be coming over to this side any moment now. Are they venting too? Bye now. Then while we're at it, I'll go on ahead. Okay, he just climbs on top of Hajime. <laughs> I'm on your head, Hajime! Oh my god. Sorry, I was, hate you now, but I'm on your head! <laughs> hey, Hajime. It's okay, I already know. You want me to focus on Nekamaru's case right now, right? It's true that I'm shocked, but now is not the time for me to feel like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. <laughs> I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yep. Yep, I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving then. Yeah, you're right. Let me go cry first. I <laughs> should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekomar's case. Cool. Howdy. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's an old portrait. Hope's Peak Academy founder, Izuru Kamakura. All right. 
Izuru Kamakura-san. All right, so where are we going? Crime scene? Uh, back to the crime scene, yeah. Which is downstairs. Or, yeah. Just go downstairs, do it. Oh, yeah, I guess people Run. are showing up. Are they here yet? <laughs> I have returned from the depths of hell. Oh, me too. I was inside Nagito's head. <laughs> just tell me about it. Get Gundam. Yo. Yo, sorry we're late. Hey. Just so you all know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. Sonia. <laughs> See, it's just as I said, right? Hey. Hey, hey, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stay it out here. Hey. More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Huh? Huh? Oh, oh that thing about the compass. I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think this compass might be broken. Oh, do you? You stay I didn't ask for your opinion. Just tell me the results. <laughs> uh, uh, well, the, the compass needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. Needle rotated 180 degrees? We are in the North Pole! <laughs> <laughs> it's see. red and green. We're in Shan Santa's workshop, just Matt. just thought. Huh? Hey, yeah, you, you know. What do you mean by that? Santa's workshop that you find on his tropical island. <laughs> Yeah, it's how he hides it. That's why people oh, my bad. find it. <laughs> it's just in the Bermuda Triangle. They just have to shoot down anyone that comes in. <laughs> no witnesses. Uh, they was like, we got another one. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia Earhart is Mrs. Claus. Well, obviously the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator rotated? Now then. I should go investigate Nekomaru's body. Since if you were thumbing his nose at us, Nagito began making his way towards Grave Tower. <laughs> I gotta go investigate. Oh my. What's wrong with him? Doesn't he seem pissed off or something? Nagito, what do you know? How much do you know? Why won't you tell me? <laughs> Alright. Cool. Let's go take a gander. At the elevator. No. Sorry, my bad. The elevator's Body. that way. <laughs> I just saw sliding doors and said elevator? I forgot those girls are here. Nekamaru, are you serious? Damn it. I don't know who did this, but this is pretty messed up. <laughs> down, 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 down. <laughs> hey, now is not the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. But we've already investigated everything we can here. Wow. <laughs> no, you haven't. There's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Mikon is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Right? But Kazuichi should be able to disassemble the body, right? Alright, that's a nice loophole. I respect it. Convenient. Huh? Eh? It cannot be. Is that true? Are you going to disassemble Nekomaru's body? I won't forgive Don't you. Don't screw with me. Hasn't Coach Nekomaru been through enough already? <laughs> I mean, is he gonna care? He's dead. Don't know. Been through enough. We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane. Maybe you don't care about what happened to Nekomaru. D damn it! No, why he Are you dead and you're trying to save yourself? <laughs> You stay quiet. If you suck at using your brain and you really want to know who the killer is, try not to interfere so much. Use the booba to knock it down the pillar. Jeez. <laughs> uh, Come on, Kazuichi. What are you standing there for? Uh, Fine, I just have to do it, right? I know I said I wanted to see his insides, but not like this. This is just too much. Well... Come on, are you guys feeling okay, too? Now's not the time to be staring into space. Sorry. <laughs> Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with They me. let you be the protagonist for ten minutes, and, <laughs> and you <laughs> let it go to your head. <laughs> I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I have no talent, but it seems like that's not entirely the case. His attitude towards everyone else is strange now, too. But why? Because he already knows, maybe. I don't know. Wait, wait, hold on. Do your thing. Down. Ta disassemble Damn him. Damn it. I've come so far, there's no way I can get sentimental at a time like this. I feel awful for Nakamaru, but this is necessary if we're gonna find out the truth behind the case. As he forced his voice through his clenched teeth, Kazuji faced Nakamaru, his eyes full of determination, began stabbing his tool knife into Nakamaru's body. Is this helping? Huh? Oh, where, where did you get that tool knife? Mm -hmm. Nagito gave it to me. He said he had it ready before we even went to the amusement park. So Nagito did that too. It's like Nagito has full control of the situation. Maybe... Looks like the damage to his head is the reason. Nagito? Oh, what? <laughs> the reason Nekomaru died, I mean, stopped functioning. How can you tell, hmm. though? His torso is covered in... How could Mikon tell that she died instantly from a bat whack to the head? I mean, that's... There's, like, marks, I mean, I guess. You know? But in him... It could, maybe the, the, you can't tell when it happened, I mean. Like, the dents could have happened first, uh. shut down all of his stuff, and then he was like, oh. Mm, Sleep his tight. torso was blood something. Maybe a gear shaft broke too. Well, for now, I tried disassembling Nakamaru's chest. That should help us learn something, Not right? The gear shaft. If that. Oh, that's you. Oh, if that's Dang the case, it! Aha! I need to look at Nekomaru's body. I put the counter back up. I don't, I don't even know. know. I don't even know. Yeah. Right. Well, it might be right. It might be wrong. Just put up in a comically high number. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. 
9875. No, I thought of the number I'm gonna oh, put. No. I think you just start talking Frank, to people. Dude, I don't wanna look at that. Look at my body, maybe? Apparently, Kazuichi is finished. I should oh, probably yeah, check yeah. it out one more time. That too. Cool! Yeah, it Ooh. looks fine. Yeah, look oh. at the clock! This one that caught my eye. Yeah, I, did we not establish that last time? Well, it was close last time. I was thinking about that, like, last night. Yeah. Maybe it was this morning. Yeah. But I was like, oh, he just got up because some it was like it was time. He has a clock. He knows yeah. he knew where to go or yeah. something. And then somebody just I don't know. I remembered he had a clock. That's the point. His dust panels open. The clock inside is completely exposed. Hmm. What? Wait. Seven. The clock. The clock like they're pointing to seven thirty. Also looks like the clock's alarm is set for seven thirty a.m. Which means this clock broke the moment before the alarm started ringing at seven thirty. Why would it? Broke the moment the alarm started ringing. Wasn't Monokuma um, jumping jack session at 7? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Triple A. Clock's alarm timer has been added. 7.30 a.m. is strange, right? I mean, you should have arrived at Grave Tower just before 7 for Monokuma Tai Chi. Is the clock not functioning? No, wait. This is a highly efficient radio clock. Radio clock? Type of clock that receives radio signals so it can automatically update the time <laughs> at fixed intervals. <laughs> Simply put, it's extremely accurate. I can never find. I don't want his voice to be just entirely prepubescent, but I'm like trying to find the balance of like. Oh. It's up here, but it's like kind of a bit more like nasally. It's just. Uh, Ryu. That's right, it's a clock that'll never slow down. It's even designed. Street but Fighter Ryu. Cannot goes. be adjusted. <laughs> what? That's his voice, it's a soda. Is it I said really? this at the beginning of the game, yeah. He shares. <laughs> he's Ryu, he's Big the Cat. He's pretty great. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I've become a Time Lord. Well, even if it's an accurate clock, they didn't need to install it into. Anyways, you know what they're saying. Yeah. What are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again. Oh, he'll never wear a wristwatch ever again. <laughs> yeah, quick, does anyone have one? It never slows down, huh? Just put it on him! I brought one before coming to the Fourth Island. <laughs> Why does this broken clock say 7 through? I gotta say, I hate it when time plays a factor in the investigations. Oh, whoops. <laughs> you know. It's just, it's just, it, it's, it's just that one little detail that really pushes yeah. me over the edge, especially with the sprinklers and the tarp and the t time. And, uh, oh, that's a good picture, though. Radio clock. Radio clock. I think that's all clock. you need to look at. I'm not really sure. Okay. I should back off. I honestly don't remember what Who we still have what this to look at. capable of. What's wrong with him? He's crouching over Nekumaru's body. He's like teabagging him. He's <laughs> almost <laughs> glaring at him. This is weird, man. What? This feels like... Which, I don't remember which chapter it was. Yeah. But it feels like the one when everything starts kind of like caving in. Yeah. <laughs> so, the vibe is definitely not here. Like, the, the, the illusion of, of the school life is gone. The like, vibes completely. are not, um, what do the kids say? Bussin'? <laughs> <laughs> this room is not bussin'. I think you have to talk to him again. <laughs> Weird. You're the worst. Jeez, this is the worst. Huh? Jeez. You guys overlooked an important clue. I swear, you're just the worst. As I thought, there's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? Well, I found this under a fragment of the pillar that tipped over. Is this a doorknob? You don't Looks even know? Looks like the know? screws came out with it. Oh, is he calling us dumb? <laughs> or is he being literal? <laughs> That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force He's to it. being literal. Cool. <laughs> Plus, it looks like there are scratches near the base of the doorknob. Hey. Don't you think it's strange? Yeah. Well, uh, see? <laughs> if we examine the far back door in Grape Tower, the doorknob is still intact, right? Correct. Now that you mention it, you're right. Now If then. that's the case, where did this doorknob come from? I don't know, Home Depot. If it's not the door that leads to Strawberry Hall, then there's only one other possibility. It was the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, I'd have to be the door connected to Grape Hall that we entered from, right? Sorry. Hmm. Well, well, it makes sense to think about it like that. <laughs> we should try it out. Try it out? How? You don't know? We take the elevator to Strawberry House and we enter Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall. That doesn't work. That's the only way we can see the other side of the door, right? Oh, we're not opening it, we're just looking at it. Gotcha. But the button to open Strawberry Door in Strawberry Hall is broken, right? It's obvious. We can just repair it. After all, we have the ultimate mechanic on our side. Well... Well, you're right, but I need parts to repair the door in Strawberry Hall. Take Nekumar's body. I can repair <laughs> it if it's broken, but if I don't have enough parts, there's not much I could do about it. <laughs> but you have plenty of parts right here. Yeah! <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> See? Just use Nekamaru. I'm sure if you dig through his body, you can find parts you can use. Hold on. Are you saying we should use parts from our dead friend? <laughs> it's called recycling! It's a much better alternative than disposing it with the rest of the junk, right? It's junk? Hey. Well, Kazuichi, is it possible or impossible? Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but seriously, hold on. Even if you do repair the button, what's gonna happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Huh? Chain? You have a thi- just pick the lock! It's just not that hard. <laughs> Somebody here can! <laughs> the door that leads to Strawberry Hall is a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you fix the button on the Strawberry Hall side, the door won't open as long as that chain is there. Hmm? <laughs> you don't need to worry about that at all. Oh? Huh? I don't need to worry? What does that mean? Now then. Kazuichi, we should go over to Strawberry Hall so you can repair the door. Hey, I'm not finished. <laughs> Hajime, you're gonna come later too, right? It'd be really bothersome if you didn't. I mean, if there's someone in the tower, the door won't open at all. Right? So you should at least make sure you're not pulling my leg. <laughs> <laughs> what? We don't have many, many fade-outs in this game. That's true. <laughs> After tersely saying that, Nagito left the area. Doorknob. Okay. Huh? What the heck happened to him? He seems on edge about something. Mm. Who knows? Damn right. Uh, that reminds me, Nagito asked Kazuichi to do something weird for him, right? Yep. Had something to do with how the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what it could mean. <laughs> what? I just love the moments when I just, you stop pushing buttons and I go, gears. <laughs> they are charting. Well, no, because, like, I could see it being really justifiable. Yeah. I just can't picture it. Yeah. Because if the elevator, like, let's say you're standing in the tower. Yeah. Walk, we go straight through to Strawberry Room right yeah. now. We walk out. Let's say the elevator's on the left. Yeah. Just for example. Yeah. If we were to back up right now. Yeah. And go back into Grape Hall. Yeah. If the elevator were on the right, when we went into that room, then it would make sense to flip 180 degrees, because it would have to face the opposite direction. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But are they on the same wall? They are on the same. I, I, I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll address it, but like, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey. I mean, because you very, come off the elevator and like to very, your left is the hall on both. It'd be very inconvenient sides. for the elevator to have to go around the entirety of Strawberry Building just to. Okay. Actually, to tell you the truth, Nagito asked me to do something weird too. He said there was poison in his loins. He told me to invest. <laughs> That's a throwback. <laughs> he told me to investigate all the clocks inside both buildings. The clocks? I. So I did what he said and checked them all, but none of their clocks had their times messed up. Jeez. So why did he ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get that guy at all. They all stopped it. 307. <laughs> that's a yeah. that's a reference to the, the conjuring, I believe. Oh, okay. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> it's it's alright. <laughs> For now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower too? We're going to see uh last night in Soho on Saturday or don't tomorrow. Know what that is. Uh it has peach in it. The new peach. <laughs> nice. Along with the doorknob matter, there's still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. It's like a spooky movie. Hmm. If it, that's why I brought it up okay. after Conjuring. The Conjuring just, it's, it's a ghost. Spoiler, yeah. I guess. Well, no, I know that. They, I saw the Nun trailers. They, I was mad at YouTube. They, they died. For letting those trailers play. <laughs> the, like, six-second jump scare one. Ah, uh, yeah. I hated fair. that. This, the ghost died at, like, 3.07, and now the clock stopped at 3.07. Woo! <laughs> if we go to Strawberry Tower, we may be able to solve some of those mysteries. If I died and Maybe. haunted somewhere, I wouldn't bother. Stopping clocks, like I do so it's much true. more fun things. <laughs> like rip to them, but I'm different. I would just, I would just go to hang out. I'd be like, so up. I just and be like, oh my gosh, and I'd, I'd be just like, I uh, go to heaven, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I just find <laughs> peace. Yeah, gosh, yeah. <laughs> looks like about all we can do. That, that all, that. Nah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> what Nagito? <laughs> no, it's not me. <laughs> I'm so used to it now. What Nagito said about the door opening. What is he planning to do about the chain? <laughs> looks like it won't come off easily. So does Nagito have a plan or something? Okay. I don't understand this at all. Not to be that guy again. Yeah. That hammer. Yeah. Like, a common way people have to break into locks is to just break it. Yeah. You can probably yeah. break it. You probably. Akane probably could. have. Use the booba to get through. We have a multi-tool. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, we, we should just, just the do lock. something with it. Yeah. All right. Well, I am hiding from you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind the pillar of destruction to match my tables. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're here. Yeah. Staring into the void. <laughs> Chapter four. Oh. 
It's almost like they brought it up now, and now it's important instead of lazy. <laughs> what are you doing in the swamp? Thanks to Kazumi. <laughs> that wasn't me trying to do soccer. That was just me doing a dumb Shrek. What are you doing in the game room? <laughs> in the recreation room or whatever. Thanks, Kazumi. The elevator's working. All right, let's go. Everyone stand as close to the front as possible. Thanks, Taka. We walked into the elevator and made our way to Strawberry House. Hmm? been a while since I've come to Strawberry House. What's up? Hey, you're here! Hey, hey. Kazuichi, how'd the repairs go? <laughs> yeah, well, the damage wasn't too bad once I got the parts, so I was able to fix it right away. You? You got a lot of nerves saying that when you used Nekamaru's parts without my permission. Hey, hey it was his dog. Well, I mean, even so. Why didn't you just use Hajime's? <laughs> oh, that's right. Now it's then. an average one. <laughs> no, shut up, Nagato! <laughs> anyway, shut now that we're all here, why don't we hurry up and try it out? <laughs> what will happen if you press the button to Strawberry Hall's door? I just love that idea of their dynamic of Hajime freaking out every time Nagito insults his dog. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, Nagato so. was fully on board, and then he got the, like, he was like, yeah, you're the ultimate dog! <laughs> and then he got the file and was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way it'll open, you haven't done anything about the chain. Hmm, if only we had a massive tool to break it with. The door to Strawberry Hall, yeah, see, you can see Guess the- Guess Hajime's not gonna be- These are the elevators at the bottom. Ah. Uh. What? The door's only on one side of the elevator, yeah? What do you mean? <laughs> like, you, you don't have to open the opposite side it's of the elevator. It's not a double-sided elevator, no. Because then it would just, like, twist along the way, and that's it. It just, the elevator just goes whoop and just twists over. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't do anything about that, it doesn't even matter if you fix the button everybody's on the just, outside. Everybody's just like, I wonder why it was opening from the back every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll know if we try it out. It's not even worth trying out. Are we tell- wait, hold on a second. Are we saying that that map is wrong? Like, if there, there's something missing to it? No, we've all come this far. If we're saying we should try it out, then we should give it a shot. The map we've yep. been given wouldn't rotate 180 degrees. That is- yes. That is true. I will say what the game has given us. Yeah, that'd be great. I know. Every once in a while, sometimes I'll- I'll say something as though we already know it, just to see if you slip up <laughs> and divulge anything more. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Most of the time. I think every time I've tried it in this game, which is every time I've tried it, I guess, you've just been like, what? No, the game never told us that. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, frick. I have to be really careful, though, because there was a few times, like, early on in Danganronpa 1, like, like, yeah, there was a few times there was things I almost said. But I also like to, like, hint at things that are important. You know, like in the yeah. first game, every chapter I made a point to bring up Junko at some point and be that like, remember fair. her? <laughs> I didn't think of that. I thought you were just being like, remember the characters in the game I like? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? We're going to the hall. <laughs> I'm messing with the words. <laughs> with the words? Yeah, the hall. Final, fi final, fi 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 final, <laughs> dead, final, <laughs> final, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we have the fi 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 final dead, fi fi final <laughs> dead room. <laughs> Strawberry Hall. Go. There's no way this door will open, not when the other side is chained up. With a feeling of resignation, I push the button. <sighs> With my finger. <clears throat> Probably the biggest thing I have. <laughs> <laughs> Gunnip's hamster pushed the button earlier, it's probably bigger than what I have. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, at least we got like girth, it's fine. Hey! <laughs> Why did it open? <laughs> Time. Impossible. Where did the chain go? Hold it. Hold on a sec. That's not the only thing that's strange. Oh! Frick! <laughs> Wait! That's important! <laughs> Love that. Stop. <laughs> Stop bottling. So it's... They're not connected. But they are, because the doors go through. Never mind. <laughs> That's right, there's no other way to say this. This definitely looks weird. So... What do you mean, huh? Hey, hey! Hey, doesn't this all look the same as when we were in Grape Tower? Yeah, that's the problem, hon. Yeah, you're right. When we were inside Grape Tower, Nekomaru's body was in front of the far back door. Which means his body should be in front of the door to the Strawberry Hall. So if we entered from Strawberry Hall, his body should be right in front of the door as we walked in. Why isn't it like that? Why is Nekomaru's body in front of the door to Grape Hall? I don't know, maybe the hall just spins. Hey, hey! Did we, did we really pay that much attention to the orientation of Chianki's handbook? Not just that, that is a fair point. <laughs> Not just that, the parts I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. Um, the 
body isn't the only thing that moved, even the tipped over pillar and the spilled oil. They've all moved the exact same way. The crime scene looks identical to how we saw it when we entered from Great Hall. Thank you for the map again. <laughs> Everything that was at the crime scene inside Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. As if it rotated 180 degrees! Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's, can't imagine the floor actually rotated 180 degrees, but is that really what this means? There's more to that. I feel like there's an even greater mystery here. A mystery so great that it could drastically reflect the outcome of this case. There's always one. I might have to rethink this. I might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. Lieutenant Triple, it's strange feeling in the tower. Oh. I'm just gonna double check that we're recording. I just got really paranoid about it all of a sudden. Okay, just, just, I just, it's for some audio? reason. We do, it's just silent right now. We do have audio. Oh, I see. The chain disappeared. The strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> yep, just as I thought. It was definitely the right choice to confirm this. Just as you thought, then you already knew about this mystery. <sighs> you have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating first? See? Uh, the elevator was broken! <laughs> that door at the far back of, with the picture of a grape on it. Maybe there's a clue hidden there? There's a clue on that door? Grapes! <laughs> Frick, I tried to run. <laughs> <laughs> it's the door with the picture of grapes on it. This should lead to Grape Hall. Wait, huh? One of the doorknobs is gone? It's like the screws came out with it! Probably nothing. No. Boy, I freaking wonder, Hajime. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same as that doorknob that was on the floor. See? See, the screws came out with it, right? Then the doorknob next to Nekomaru's body came off the door to Great Hall. Well, well, that's what it looks like. When you said clue, were you talking about this? What, is this a clue too? We already had that. <laughs> it's been updated in your handbook. What? Did you get even more confused? <laughs> yes. No need to worry, just one clue will change everything. But you're not gonna give it to me, huh? All the mysteries will be solved, as if everything were linked together if you can reach it. But it's gonna be far away. It's gonna be about s seven inches away. No! <laughs> <laughs> Just like I did. What does that mean? If I ask him that, Nagito probably won't give me an answer. So it'll just be a waste of time to ask. No, 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 let me go to the dead room. <laughs> let me risk You've my been life. in the dead room. Let Hajime risk his nah, life. Nah, it's fine. Oh. Why, why, why do you need to know about the it? The freaking window! Ah, yeah, it's probably nothing. For the class trial. To tell you the truth, I'm tired. Extremely tired. I feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already. Thank Man, you, Mom. I know it's bad, Wait, but I'm so What's our trial room going to be? Where's our trial room going to be? I <sighs> Though I really don't feel like it, I'll show you my serious side when you come to the class trial. Even though it's impossible since it's so annoying, you can count on me to take this seriously. Thank you. Looks like it's gonna start. What? I'm just thinking, man. Oh, okay, cool. Because if, if the room rotated, then yeah, of course, the chains on the door wouldn't matter. Yeah. But... Where does that door for, come from? <laughs> Another class trial. What do you mean okay. by rotating? <laughs> I'm picturing the entire room just spins. Yeah. 180 degrees. So what about the door that has a strawberry on the back of it? The one with the chains? Yeah. Yeah, if, if that happened, we would leave through the door that did not have the chains. Yeah. It would rotate, and then we'd enter through that same door, essentially. Yeah. So that the door chains doesn't should have, have been on or that a doorknob. Door. Yeah. Yeah, that's I, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> How are we supposed to get to the trial ground? <clears throat> Damn it! You're right. We can't do anything unless we get out of this building. Hmm. 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 Um. Akane, did something happen? Hey, hey. Nekamara's dead. <laughs> what? Did you guys hear something? Hear something. Hey, hey. Will you hear this tip? Suddenly, as if cutting off Chiaki, uh, our surroundings started to shake and rumble. <laughs> Suddenly appeared before us. <laughs> What's up? Oh, good. What's up? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping it'd be the rock! It's me! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Nekamaru. Yeah, we don't need the He's just gone. Anymore. He's destroyed. It's fine. That's not what it looked like, man. <laughs> no, they would all be dead. Is he telling us to go inside from here? Um, Seems that way. Alright, all right, I'm gonna go! 
Just hold on, Nikamara. I'll make sure I avenge you. Jeez. Jeez, at least be a little cautious. It's obviously a trap. It appears I agree. I detect the scent of danger, even my familiars are saying. Do not go inside. It's nearly How interesting. Showtime. If you can kill me, you're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart. <laughs> He's a um, delight. Now then, shall we? We shall get moving as well. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Uh, it's annoying, but if Miss Sonya's going, there's no way I'm not gonna go. Glad everyone's muster encouraged their own way. <laughs> I mean, uh, but it's so annoying! Guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. One by one, everyone went into Monku Morag. It's still bigger than mine. Sorry. Uh, until I was the only one left, when I was about to take a step forward, I <laughs> thought- the same. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, Hajime just said he's the only one left. You get in the mouth. <laughs> the same. Step ladders. I never knew my real ladder. Huh? Nagato was suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked onto Monaco Morak. Other than the small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly well, still. You and I are just stepladders. For everyone who holds the title of ultimate, I always believed that I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. W what are you saying? Man. That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time, and from that, true hope would be born. I always believed that the talent that survived would be true hope. Damn it. But it wasn't! There was no hope amidst all this killing! Of course there isn't. What kind of hope comes from killing people? What? Really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? Yes. But you're wrong. It's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. <sighs> Is it that right? After all, that's what it means to live, right? There's no way I'm going to accept that. No. It's at, it's big, okay? <laughs> oh well, it's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyway. Hey. There's this one novel I like. It's a peculiar mystery story. Are you familiar with Ellery Queen? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, a novel? <laughs> The story is told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. Twilight Syndrome murder case. But when you get to the end... <laughs> surprise, surprise! The girl was actually the killer! Of course, the story is written carefully so the reader doesn't learn the ending in the middle of the story. The protagonist is just a projection of the reader, and this projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along. How do you feel about novels like that? What the heck are you talking about? You're just jumping from one topic to another. And I can't comment on a book that I've never read before. No good Such at all. Such a normal answer. I should have expected that from a <sighs> talentless reserve course student like you. <laughs> but I know that you don't matter at all, so why do I care about you? You admire hope. I love hope. Right? We're not some the ways, same. <laughs> in some ways we're similar, but maybe that difference is what's making me so emotional. Enough already. I don't have time to argue with you. Let's go. Everyone's waiting. Man. Everyone, huh? So you still believe you're just like everyone else. <laughs> Reserve Court students are so full of themselves! He did the laugh. No, I'm not. he did. Nagito's chilling laugh continued as he disappeared into Monokumarak. I don't know which one's harder to voice act, Mekon's nervous breakdown or hot or Nagito's, <laughs> Nagito's like condescending normal personality. <laughs> calm down. That's right, I need to calm down. I took several deep breaths, and once my nerves have settled, I stepped into Monokuma Raw. Into the raw! Whoa! We'll get to the trial loading screen, the one in the episode. Mm hmm Hmm. Hey. When we're in a normal elevator that shakes is bad, it reminds me of how efficient the elevator in that fun house was. It's like Japanese trains. Well it's true. yeah. Yeah, it's probably true. The elevator continued to shake and descended deeper and deeper. And suddenly, it stopped like it always does. <laughs> it, al it always does. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and the door opened. Dude! We're on the freaking Winnie the Pooh ride at Disneyland! Dude, we are! We're in the Hufflepuffs and Woozles room! <laughs> yeah! Throw up a picture of that for them to know. I understand our desire to applaud this wonderfully vulgar trial ground, Yahoo! but it's so exhausting to discuss useless things, so let's just get on with it already! They sound just the same. Him and Nagito. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so useless! <laughs> oh, so sad! My chest hurts! <laughs> I got shot! <laughs> <laughs> Forcing everyone to do this is so sad. Hey, 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 don't go talking now. without permission after I've said my catchphrase. Now I'm Otherwise, I'll roll a dice, and based on the results, I'll give you a sex change operation that many times. Oh, uh, you would actually roll a die, Manakuma? What an extreme punishment! He doesn't even know the grammar for it! <laughs> now, no, this is only going to get worse. I'm taking a Let's grammar class on. next semester, so... <laughs> Let's get on with it once again. Yeah. Let's get him run, boys and girls. Boys and girls and dead robots of all ages. And so it'd be quiet. Why is there an iPad in the corner? What? 
I think it's been in all of them. Has it? I think that's like the screen. The like, I don't is even it? know what it is. I guess, was there always a screen last game or was it just the last trial? I think there was always a screen. Cause I think it was the same trial room in the last game every time. That's true. He's just like, I redecorated. Yeah. All right. I hope this Remember when there were palm trees in this <laughs> trial room? No. Yeah, in like trial two, there was just coconuts and palm nice. trees just hanging out. Hope this would never happen again. And now it's happening for the fourth time. Four times. <laughs> Me opening up V3. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> or, or, or whatever the fourth game. That will be the fourth one we play. Yeah, that's but... what I thought. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. No, I don't good. mean it. I It'll be a while it. before we get to it. I, I do like the story. I also had that thought in the shower today. Be like, I, I'm bashing this game a lot, and I think this game is incredibly flawed. Here's both the thing I will a, say. Both from a technical point with all the typos <laughs> and unfinished textures yeah. and animations and stuff, and also just writing and Here's what I say. 95% of the reason I love this game is the last... is is what's after this. That's fair. I mean, to be... I mean, you I said adore the, you the said upcoming stuff. You said a lot stuff. about that in the first game, too. Yeah. Like, um... Chihiro died, and you were like, you're my favorite character, and I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. She didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. And then the rest of it happened, and I was like, oh no, I, I like Chihiro, he's cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this, this game really, <laughs> I, I love chapter one, and then what's coming up really just takes it off, and it makes it. The beginning it, was very much like, it felt like, almost like they were making it up on the spot. It's like, yeah. I was listening to somebody write a dingarumpa fan fiction <laughs> that That's just, fair. that just, they didn't plan. Yeah, it's like, uh, okay, uh, this person nose. died. And then this person, okay, the, sorry. No, you're good. The curtain for the, this is good. the this class is good. trial. Juicy. I, I just, my point is, I think this game's incredibly flawed, <laughs> yeah. but I like it. It's fun, and it's a fun narrative. Oh, and when we eventually get to V3, like, I think the story of V3 is really solid. I, I think like the, the ending story. is very controversial. I think it's the greatest thing they could have done. Um... But I will bash nonstop on the story. That's fair. <laughs> on just what happens, because it's so dumb. Maybe <laughs> Pecco. Never mind. I'm just gonna ask why Pecco broke down. Just because, like, that came out of nowhere. And then I was like, maybe she's the spy and she had to keep the pattern going from the last game. <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> well, this is where the game is explicitly like, hey, remember the last game? This yeah. is really similar. Yeah, that's what I like. I don't, I don't I mean, like maybe it. Maybe get thinking about that. I didn't, I didn't like the game when it was like, oh, Mahiru's dead. She was such a loving, motherly figure. And it's like, <laughs> no, she, like... she insulted me a few times. And then didn't even... She brought food to Nagito once. That was it. Yeah. And then Pekko did it. And I was like, who? The girl who's been gone every 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 10 minutes? No. <laughs> but, but I do like the, like, oh, future foundation. Ultimate team manager. He was more passionate, more daring, more honest than anyone I'd ever met. More metal. Truly, he was more man than any of us. Am I man or am I machine? He was more man than I was. My he human. Was package. Or am I dancer? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He sacrificed his body to protect Akane, and his appearance changed drastically because of that, but he still tried to live earnestly. And just when I finally got used to his new form... Nikamaru's killer... ...is blue. <laughs> it's one of us. They are we blue. We really don't have many choices. There's eight people left. I, there's just more people that I don't want it to be. Oh yeah, he used to look like that, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Killing someone because it's the only way to survive is no excuse. I won't let this be excused. Rippy Buki. Rippy Akuya. This screen, I don't really care about Rip, anyone that died. Rip, Rippy Oko. I like to give it, I like doing your voice. <laughs> That's I won't fair. I forgive this. The person who betrayed Nekamaru, who betrayed their friends. I will never, ever forgive them. And so, this life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. Dread to save the game. Yeah, I would, actually. Save the game, and yeah. I would say, like, do you want to talk theories? But also, we're probably going to come back around and record the first part after we do some other games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's do that first, so, and like, then come yeah. back and we can talk theories. Yeah. yeah. You don't even necessarily have to have a theory, because most of the questions you were raising were just about the structure of the house. <sighs> Which is kind of the questions that it raises, you know? I feel like the structure of the house is going to be a lot like the game in Chapter 2. Was that a even little Chapter 2? It was Chapter 2. Where it's going to be like, cool, we have all these answers about the house. We spend a lot of time on it. I think the it, only but... solution we're going to come to after establishing what the house is like yeah. is going to be, oh, so boys or girls could have killed Nekamaru, and now we don't have any way I, to I'm know. curious when, when, like, the moment happens in the trial where they're like, I know who it is, 
I'm curious if you'll pick. It's actually kind of clever. It's actually a very clever moment. Oh, when, when it's like select someone. Yeah, like oh, I gosh. I almost didn't get it. I had to really think about it. So it's easier to rule people out than like just... talk about it. Cool. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Cause like Fuyuko has suspicion, right? Yeah. He was he saw Nekumaru leave and then was just yeah. like, oh well. And then just chilled for half an hour and didn't yeah. cause Uchi or somebody to question him. Like, what were you really doing during that time? I think it was I think it was Nagito, but he was saying, "Were you thinking about everything that <laughs> oh, happened that's and right, getting that's choked right. up?" That's right. And then the girls. Akane was the only one who got up, right? I don't remember that part. Akane we'll talked part. to you about the vo about the noise. Yes, she heard just the rumble. Correct. Yes. There was no clock that went off, as far as we know. We woke up to the ringing of the phone. No, we woke up to the rumble in the middle of the night. Oh, we fell did. back asleep. We all went downstairs, and then the phone started ringing okay. while we were looking at Nekomaru's body. Oh, because that was okay. just Fujiko calling. Oh, because Akane like, was like, "Wait, do you hear that?" Like yeah. while we were looking. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Come next time for maybe the whole first half. We'll see. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I Could be pee. about an hour. Yeah. And I need to get some air. So bye. I gotta go take a dump. I gotta go take a show. Dude, service bingo week? Sign me up.